Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, the devastations. I dare you. Oh, your whole board. Your whole board is gone and I have a 17 3. There is nowhere left to go but up. What's going on YouTube? Danny Dex here. With patch 3.0 we got ourselves a new busted boogeyman in the format in the form of Poros. The Poro deck is extremely obnoxious with the Iceborne Legacy buff. It now gets your Poros fat. It's a little bit of an issue. It caused me some trouble building decks. I was finding it hard to win against Poros while not losing to everything else and vice versa. I could beat other stuff but lost to Poros. Didn't feel good gave me some trouble i went through all kinds of different variations of decks to get the right stuff and it just it was it was a tough time i know that i could have just played aggro i don't really like playing aggro it's it's okay it's just all the aggro kind of feels the same if it's an interesting aggro deck similar to the zillion echo list then sure i would love that but ultimately anything that's really noxus aggro it's all the same shit you play rear guard you play stuff that kills stuff you play decimates sure they have elise and they're playing spiders this time i mean last time it was zigs the deck hasn't changed it's all the same shit really just aggro feels very bland and i didn't want to bring you an aggro deck pantheon as well all the pantheon decks feel very much the same it doesn't matter if you're playing with Tarek or shivana or nobody or zoe it's all the same thing you play pantheon you play the exact same buff cards with the exact same everything else and you strike some shit poros are weak to pantheon they're weak to aggro and what i also found is they are weak to yasuo now this deck was a lot of fun it took heavy inspiration from the ken and ari list i found Kennen to be a little bit too weak for the meta there is a lot of control going around so a lot of board sweepers really deal with your quick cannon he's also not that threatening in an aggro matchup not to mention he does absolutely nothing against poros poros just say haha cannon we don't give a shit and then they go right over him what i did find is yasuo they cannot ignore because yasuo will stun them and straight up kill them amazing this deck actually stomps poros we'll go over the cards really quick because a lot of these are recaps we got three droplets this is an elusive blocker as well as a draw engine you want to protect this you want this in your early hand three recalls this offers you protection also levels up your ari and your yasuo ari pretty straightforward i'm starting to grow to like ari a little bit i think it was just extremely obnoxious in the kennen ari deck but as i play with this card more and i take it away from kennen feels pretty fun actually so my hate for Ari has diminished a little bit. I still think it's kind of a super annoying card. Nonetheless, we're going to abuse it. Fey Blade Twirler. This card is a staple with Yasuo usually. When you stun a recall, it gets plus 2, plus 0, oh, and it has quick attack. This card gets absolutely massive with all of the recall and stun effects in the deck, letting you close out games with it. People don't see it coming. A very powerful unit, extremely difficult for them to block. It often will just kill something for free or get in for some serious damage. Three copies of Constipator. Constipator bounces. He's also an elusive blocker for the Poros, and he can chip in some damage against decks that don't deal with elusives very well. Two Nopifies, two Steel Tempests. Both of these cards are fairly situational. They're reactive cards. I don't want three copies of, of heavy reactive cards because if they end up in your hand, you feels bad and you might not get to use them. Like Steel Tempest does actually nothing against control in the early game. Having drawn it and just have it sit in your hand the whole game doesn't feel that good. It is very effective late game against control. Against aggro, it's fairly good, but it doesn't deal with the problem of their units on the board until you have a Yasuo. Ultimately, two copies felt right. Nopify, same idea. It doesn't quite hit everything. When you need it, you need you got it. Otherwise, it's uh it's just a, a situational card. So two of is the way to go. Twin Disciplines, absolutely busted card. Not much to say about it. You can give three attack or three defense. While having a bunch of quick attack units, this makes this card even more dangerous. Might, this acts similar to Absolver for us. It lets us go over the top of stuff. Our Blade Twirlers get massive. Ari levels up and she, you know, bounces the whole board. Yasuo, really anything. Might is just pretty solid. Two copies as well. The reason I'm 
playing two copies is I don't want to draw multiple mites or at least I don't want three mites. If you have a bad case scenario and you draw three mites, you basically lose your hand is bricked. Two kind of lets you draw it every game while not letting you overdraw it. Two palms, you can arguably up palm to three. I like it at two. I have Steel Tempest, I have Yasuo Spell, as well as Recalls. I can recall palm multiple times if I really need to so recycle it. I thought two was good. Four mana is a little bit heavy. You don't want to be investing that much of your mana pool to stun something. Two felt like the right number. Two denies, deny, and nopify in combination have a little bit of overlap. Two seems right. You don't want to have multiple denies all the time. However, you do want to have a deny pretty much every game. Deny hits spill, uh, it hits uh, all spells as well as skills. So anything dangerous that goes on the stack, you can just stop with deny. Very powerful card. Three homecomings. Homecoming works. It levels up Yasuo and Ari two points every time you cast it. It lets you recall key units that you want to replay. Let you deal with landmarks to an extent, and it's just amazing. It resets like Pantheon's faded shit, so they'll have like a big dragon. You just laugh in their face when you bounce it back, and it goes back to a two-four. Lol, nice commitment. Spirit's Refuge. This card is a house in this deck. Barrier and Life Steal. This round are amazing. You put it on a Fey Blade Twirler that got big, and all of a sudden you heal a full. You put it on Yasuo. Anytime he strikes something. <clears throat> you're gonna heal you can use it on defense i had a rumble attack into me thinking he was gonna kill me i just threw this on a flay blade twirler not only do i kill his rumble i also you know heal the full and all of a sudden that guy's ready to just concede <clears throat> yes well the absolute star of the deck the legend himself when he levels up he strikes he no longer does a set number of damage this can be a double-edged sword if he gets frostbitten he deals zero damage However, if he gets buffed, he does additional damage. You need to be aware of that. If the unit has 8 health, you can easily twin disciplines your Yasuo, then stun it, and you will be killing 8 health units. Two copies of Intimidating Roar. Intimidating Roar stuns all enemies with 4 or less power. In combination with Yasuo or Fey Blade Twirler, this can just crush. This will basically auto-win aggro matchup. Play Yasuo on 4, play Intimidating Roar on 5. Aggro and Poros auto-fold to this. You play that combination on 4-5. And they lose. That's it. Game over. New one, right? This card is very situational. It does almost nothing against control. And it can be clunky. So two copies is where we're at with it. You don't really want the third. It's oftentimes you don't even cast the first one. Can easily cut this card. I just wouldn't recommend it. It feels like when it works, it's just game ending. And when Yasuo with Intimidating Roar goes off, it's so satisfying. Had to keep it in. Two copies of Simon. Originally, when I saw this card released, I was like, eh, it doesn't seem that good. Turns out this card is busted. Love Simon. Draws you two, gives your allies plus one, plus one. You can play it on offense or defense. You can just play it to dig. Overall, very solid card. 3-5 stat line isn't the most amazing stat line, but it is beefy enough to get the job done. That being said, with the deck, the only bad matchup I found was Darkness. Just because I don't have a good way to deal with Catalyzer or Vigor on Curve, they would never block with their Catalyzer into an Ari or a Fey Blade Twirler. So that's really, that's the extent of the darkness. You can bounce Vigor, sure, but doesn't really solve the issue. What I do like about this deck and why I think it can continue to be relevant in the meta, Yasuo is better than Kennen because it causes them to have a bigger commitment to remove Yasuo. They can't just hit him with a Vile Feast or a Blighted Ravine or an Avalanche. That doesn't work on Yasuo. He doesn't care. He's too big for that. When they commit bigger removal to him, you have all of the tools necessary to stop that removal from happening. If they try to Vengeance, you have Denies, you have Recalls. They're really going to have a hard time dealing with Yasuo. On the flip side of that, it is only running four Noxus cards. It does not care about Allegiance either. So you can remove the four Noxus cards, play whatever region you want, as per the meta calls for. And the deck is extremely versatile in that sense. I could take away the Noxus cards, add Targon for Silence, or, you know, whatever other region. I could I could play Bandal City if I really felt like Minimorph was huge. If Lee Sin came back and Viego was everywhere and I couldn't deal with them, pfft. Just take this stuff out. Three copies of Minimorph. See you later, guys. Easy game. And that is the strength of the deck, in my opinion. It doesn't run Allegiance. So on the flip side, I could run, you know, let's say it was 
fairly aggro heavy and I felt like I wanted Arachnoid Sentry for more units, no problem. I could add as many Noxus cards as I like. I can adjust any of these, these values and cards without really affecting the deck. Overall, very solid deck. Found it extremely useful and very good in the meta. Crushing Poros. It's so nice. Be sure to like and subscribe. Comment below if there's anything else you want to see. And with that, let's get into some games. Okay, we got Poros. Nice. This is this is what I was hoping to try. I want to see what the Poro matchup looks like. Ari's good. Homecoming's actually pretty good, but we'll hold on to it. Or we'll, we'll drop it. Alright, so our hand is terrible. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the Poros now. Not sure this is going to work out. Hopefully his hand is just as bad. Wild hearts should run free. Okay. Maybe his hand is bad. Looking bad. He's going to play the stuff. The He's got the surrender. stuff. I can feel it. But we have a Yasuo with a couple stuns, so we should maybe be able to get there now. Poro Cannon. Oh, just Snacks. Alright. Snacks it is. Snacks is fine. So maybe he's Brick. That's the one thing. So I did play this Poro deck for a bit, and I felt it was so RNG. Like, you just have these turns where, like, games. Full games where you just don't draw any Poros, even though you have a million. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Okay. Sleep is for the guiltless. So we got some Poros incoming, it seems. Now, okay, so we got a bunch of Poros. Did I just DC? What the heck was that? Is this guy hacking? We got a hacker on our hands. He's DCing me. Maybe not. It's really cold outside, so... That Canadian weather, our internet cables have frozen. If that's possible. Shit, I'd like to play Simon. I'm gonna save it for this, honestly. I can play this chick though. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. Let the fluffy tails fool ya. <laughs> okay. So, hmm, don't really know. One blade, one purpose. Honestly, it's probably this, because I do want to. Maybe it's not. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I want to kill this stuff. I want to start leveling my Yasuo, because Yasuo leveled is pretty, pretty key here. I don't mind Ari taking damage. She's just, like, a way to level my Yasuo in this match. Here's our chance. As much as I would have liked to keep this on the board for an Intimidating Roar, I don't know. So his Poros are at 2. He needs to have 2 buffs. Like, an Iceborne plus a Snacks, or three Snacks. He can't have three Snacks, because he's already played a Snacks. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Okay. There's the cannon of the Poros. What have I told you? Stay out of it. Alright, well, let's see it. Does he have enough? Alright, that's not too bad, I guess. It's fine. Come on, Mr. Daddy Chops. What do you think I'm gonna cast something on your one Poro? Get out of here. Ah, second intimidating one. That's pretty good. I think we have something on that case. I would love to play Simon, but I honestly can't play Simon, so I gotta just pass. If he attacks with this, I might actually take this intimidating roar. I've only got nine. If I had ten mana. Whoa. He took that? That seems like a terrible play. Alright, cool. Cool with me. If they're out there, I'll spot. I'll face my fate. Your turn. So, we're just gonna be leveling Yasuo. Ready the torches. Casual. Spoke them. Casually leveling Yasuo here. I'd like to play sign in, but I can't. Now who's got the upper hand? Because if I play sign in, then he's just gonna flood the board and I won't be able to cast the shit that I want to cast. I mean, at this point, I can maybe do it. I got nine. If I play sign in, no, I'll just play a droplet. Slow and steady wins the race. That's a whole lot of mana for him to chop down, honestly. Ah, 
that's a good card. That's a very nice card. I have double Intimidating Roar. So, as long as his Poros don't get to five, we should be gravy. The same calling card from our other case. Do I ever just play one now and just clear his whole board up? And stay safe. I'll take it from here. Okay, two more, and the Yasuo has leveled. What have I told okay, there's you? one Poro. Okay. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. I'm fine with this. I could just steal Tempest that. Which I think I shall. This works pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so now we're at four. Underestimate me. I dare you. Worth it. All right, baby, are you ready for this? Let's go. Let's go, Yasuo. Okay, hopefully the one that he starts with is actually maybe this one. Hopefully it's this or this. Okay. Come on, Yas. Who you? Ah, you fucker. That's okay. I will follow this path. Okay, I think we got this. Because I'm gonna give overwhelm to my that chick, the fade belly twirler. I dare you. Oh, your whole board, your whole board is gone, and I have a 17 three. Stay out of The beauty of this. There's not much beauty because he's gonna have a buff down. They're gonna go to five, so I'll probably just start out with this next turn, honestly. And force him to kind of waste his mana. So, the plan here is simple. We get him to waste his mana on hopefully an Iceborne Legacy. Or nothing. I mean, if he doesn't want to want block, then I'm, I'm cool with that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, the devastations. Cool Poro, bro. Uh, recall that, and we will make this one killable here. Okay, and we just go in. Two steps into moonlight. Life and death on the Are we four edge. to five? Yeah, that works for me. All right, does he have a freeze? Million dollar question. All right looking like maybe not but i have to go for the might like i always go for this might here oh yeah baby let's go even if he has a freeze i don't even care he still loses yeah <laughs> come on show me your freeze yeah he does oh get excited oh no it's really not that big a deal Actually, wait, that kind of is a big deal. Oh, no. What am I thinking? Is it, though? No, I have two chumps, right? Like, I can just chump block two of his poros. Or at least one of his poros. That's six and six is 12. Another Yasuo is pretty good. All right. Okay. I thought this game was over, but it is not over. Oh, no. Let's say 12, 18 now. That is some spicy nachos. I mean, at this point, does it really matter? All I can really do, I might as well just play Simon. You rule the forest, Simon, as it rules you. Okay, so assuming he doesn't have another buff, I still think I'm okay. The answer is yes, oh. somewhere. Uh, no, I can't protect it. Immerse yourself I can't protect in the it. Unknown. Okay, we're good. Oh, that's it. I'm confident in this here. He really didn't want that Ari to level, I guess. Yeah, that's what I figured he'd do. Okay, so. Hit this guy with the old Steely Tempest. We have lots of tools now. Man, I can't believe I got hit with that get excited. That was going to be epic, but... You know, that's how the game goes. It's the way she goes, bud. 
Yeah, deny is pretty cool. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. So I definitely attack in with Yasuo here. What does he have? So if I attack with Yasuo, I can add six damage to my Yasuo, which means he needs to block with a Poro. If he doesn't block with a Poro and he doesn't happen to have another freeze, but he never gets any lighter. He's dead. And I definitely just go for this every time. So he doesn't have it. And we just go for it. So it's like he you have freeze or you don't. It's basically it. If he doesn't have freeze, he's dead. So I have to play for the win. I do have lots of like I have a stun and a homecoming for next turn. He has a freeze. Oh that was cray cray. Okay, that was a crazy. Alright, good on him. Good heads up. So I have a block, a stun, and a homecoming for next turn. With backup. Depends on how many poros this guy manages to get out, I guess. Another snackers. Alright, no big deal. Man, this guy is so lucky. Like, he really... I feel like he high rolled. Oh, that's a very nice draw, actually. Okay, so we always do this. And this. Go to one. I don't like going to one. So I'll also stun this guy. Okay, this seems fine. That should eliminate his Poro. Put the other one at two. Maybe I should have recalled Simon. No. No, this is okay. You got a freeze for the old Yasuo now. <laughs> now he's got a freeze for the old Yasuo. Um, how about... No. Do you like no? I dare Ionia is so cheesy, dude. You just say no to everything. Here's our chance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice Poros, kid. Or adult or lady. I don't really know what you are. Nice Poros person. What was that? Oh, stress testing. Okay, so hopefully he's. that's a card he's going to have to discard now. Another snacks. These Poros are getting fat. These are some thick-ass Poros. Those are some thick ass poros. Yeah. Life and death on a blade's edge. Okay. Well. It doesn't add up. I didn't do nothing. That works for me. I actually want to kind of play Simon, but I can't play Simon. Yeah, I can't risk it. I just gotta take what I got here. Let's see what he drew. Pass. All right. I mean, he's got to know that I definitely have a way to stop him. If he develops, I actually think I palm. And then I can recall my palm and palm again. Yeah, maybe it was a misplay. I probably should have palmed last round. Shit. Yeah. Should have palmed last round, I think. That was a, that was a big, big mistake. Start like this, honestly. Let's see where we go from here. It's another dead Poro. Okay. Hilarious. You're such a funny guy. He's such a funny guy. How about no again? Dude. All he has to do is, you know, burst speed, frostbite Yasuo, and his shit doesn't die. Like, I don't understand what this guy's doing. That's so funny. Oh, looks like we've worn him down. We got him! Got him! Yes! Ah, shit. Okay, he's got endless units, but he's dead. Like, you're done. Wipe yourself off. You're done, son. And I'm going to play Simon just for good measure. Although I really don't think there's anything he can stop me with. Maybe like a get excited. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Oh, fluff everywhere. That feels so good. Oh. Try to keep up. Got him. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so my theory was this deck would be One really good against the Poros. Redemption. 
and it seems to work out because I, I didn't feel like my draw was particularly amazing. It just did what it's supposed to do. And his Poros got fat. Normally they don't get that fat, so. Yeah, GG. Ah, oh, Ken and Ari. It looks like you guys are back. I have a feeling Ken and Ari is going to come back in the meta because people are playing dragons to stop the Poros. And Ken and Ari beats the dragons, so it's like a never ending cycle of they're just going to be back. Honestly, everyone was just messing around having fun at the start, right? So the Poros are annoying, but if they're going to lose to Pantheon Dragons, then it doesn't like change anything. People will just play Pantheon Dragons. I don't want to trade here because I need my droplet. He might need his, but I'm not positive if he does, and I'm not risking my droplet. Wild hearts should run free. Ari. Maybe I play Ari. Do I want to play Twirler first? Yeah. Think Twirler's fine. Cute. Like that. Uh, I have to take the four here. There's no real... There's no way around it. I feel like in the mirror you want to attack on two. Well, it's not really a mirror, but in the old droplet Ari shenanigans you want to attack on two. Think you're fast? Cute. Oh, I wouldn't dare. Okay, let's see what he's got. A canny. I the secrets of King now it's my turn. Think you're fast enough? That seems odd. He's probably gonna recall it. Yeah, that's fine. It is what it is. Here's thing is that doesn't even really I am kill running. my stuff I break the wind. he's gonna do two damage to something to the twirler all right good with me now who's got the upper hand all right let's see what's up I honestly probably just play another twirler out and then I just be super aggressive on him. Oh, he's going droplet. Maybe I just go droplet. No, we'll go twirler. Yeah, play out the twirler. That's fine. What I could do is actually stun. Oh. A whisper in the wood. Oh, okay. So definitely stunning now. Let's see what he decides to attack with before I commit anything here. Two steps into moonlight. So he can't stop this. I feel like that was kind of a, a misplay. Here's our chance. Like he's gotta know I'm gonna have something like twin disciplines or, or recall or whatever. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Just gonna keep drawing, baby. Where's our Yasuo? Where's Big Daddy Yasuo? Two more and he's leveled. I'll get another one right here with this Dropoletto. Eyes open. Okay. Watch for branches. Sure. Watch for branches. Fucking branches, man. They come out of nowhere. Uh, okay, Kenny. Sure, bud. All right, Kenny, dude. You do your thing. Oh, he's smacking. We smack him here. He's only got one mana. Like, what's he gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna chump. Chump block, you chump. Yeah, give me all the values. Oh, yeah. Kenny at four now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Kenny's at four, man. That's bad news. We got deny though. What's Ari at? Ari's only at three. Shit. Kennen at four is actually really rough. That's bad news. Very bad news. Both Ari's are at three. His will go to four here, most likely. What's his plan? What is his plan? Do I deny that? I have to deny that. Yeah, there's no. No doubt that's gotta be a deny. Okay. Um. I mean, it doesn't matter if I play my droplet or not. So I might as well just play it. Nah, whatever. It, 
It's fine. Steps into moonlight. Yeah. So he's going for the level of the Kenny. Question is, I can't stop him. I mean, if he levels Kenan, it doesn't even really matter. <laughs> like, it matters, but not this turn. So, at least on the bright side, he doesn't... He doesn't get to level up Kenan in a meaningful turn. He has to wait till next turn. Come on, game. Give me a Yasuo. This is literally a Yasuo deck. Just give me the Yasuo, please. Yes! Yes! Okay. We got the Yasuo. Now we are happy. We are happy campers now. Now we just start attacking him. He goes for a recall. I'm going to counter his recall. Everyone here? Let's go. Everyone here? Let's go. Blade never gets any lighter. Fucking Blade Light never set. gets any lighter. You tell him, bud. Yeah. My boy, yes. He knows about Blades and how heavy they can be. Blades, they get heavy. It will be yep. done. Yep. What's another arrow? Yep. He's gonna try to level his Ari, and I'm gonna hit him with the no. Hasagi. Oh, he's not even gonna do it. Shit, that kind of like ruins my plan. Oh man, I could kill him right now. Do I ever try? That is very tempting. He's taking eight. He's going to four. Maybe I do just one. No, because he's gonna have a recall, right? He's gotta have Hear homecoming. You know what? We're saying fuck it. And we're going for the kill. We're going in. Let's go. He's gonna have homecoming. Don't have homecoming. No homecoming. Come on. Yeah, I got him! That's right, Yasuo's the alpha. One step closer to redemption. Alright, Vladimus. So this is Targon's peak. I'm not sure how I fare up against Targon's peak. Honestly, it comes down on turn five. That's kind of fast. We'll have to see. I do have homecoming. I can homecoming as Targon's peak. I don't know how effective that is or how good homecoming is gonna be. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Well, he has no pinks, so I'm pretty safe to play this card out, actually, which is nice. He may have Avalanche. I'm not too concerned about Avalanche, though. Act natural. I got you. All right, Ari, that's a good draw. I can potentially get him with some elusive beatdown. Yeah, we'll pass. So I don't think I go into Yasuo. Think you're fast? Cute. Definitely just play Twirler out. Pass. Maybe I play Ari too. What are the odds he has shards as well? Might have shards. I don't really have a good bounce, so I could just play this and get. No. I'll take my three. I think I open attack and I take three. No, wait, because he wants to play Targon's peak this turn. So we'll try to stop that. Cute. We'll delay his Targon's peak. Dare. Force him to cast Avalanche or Blighted Ravine or both. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. Um, I'm going to deny. I don't know if he plays Field of Rush, but I think it might be worth... Oh. Oh, ho, ho. So, he's in for a beating here. Walk softly, strike quickly. Can he stop this? Like, what are the odds he runs Ice Shards? Is it worth it for two extra damage? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna do it anyways, right? So I might as well try to do it now. If he runs Ice Shards, he runs Ice Shards. It's fine. Do you run Ice Shards? If not, Mr. Blastimus? Oh! <laughs> Got him. Nice. Okay, Spider Aggro. So, in theory, I should be able to win this matchup if I can get my barrier heal spell. But we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, none of this. Give me some stuff. Alright, that's kind of some stuff. It's not amazing, but it's better than nothing. Alright, still not good. Where's my axe? Of course. Okay, ready. What would turn one be without him having a rear guard? I can play Twirler. 
All right, this is very bad. This is a heavy hand. It's a very heavy hand here. Okay. Um, I'm attacking. If he blocks with the 2-2, I don't even care. I'll, I'll just chip it for one. But I need to start pressuring him as well. This is a little bit scary. Simon's not going to help me. I guess I could just double recall. Oh my gosh. Do I just recall? Do this my whole mana pool. I'm dead. Am I already just dead? Six. I mean... Want to see these moves up close? What choice do I have? You can just replay that. That feels terrible. Okay, well I'm only taking five, I guess. I dare you. Not the end of the world. Okay, Ari's good actually. But we'll Definitely just play Yas. Yasuo is gonna have to get me there. Side. He's gonna just have a ton of shit. Oh my god. Life and death on a blade's edge. Game. I don't ask you for much, but please, game. Just one intimidating roar. Just please, game. Just give me intimidating roar so I can close this out. That's all I ask. Please, game, please. Intimidating roar off the top. Oh my gosh, this is getting scary. Well, at least Yasuo can block, so that's a plus. Ah, oh, my heart. I felt like I had it. Okay, this is a beat down. This is death. Shit, man. Welcome to try. This is just death. I have to do this again, and then I'm taking six, and I go to six. Well, this is what it is. I mean, honestly, at this point, decide my fate. this makes more sense. But there's no way. This is going to be a. Uh... Oh, Nalonoxian? Okay. <sighs> Wait, why did Yasuo not kill him? What? Okay, that makes no sense. I thought Yasuo was going to kill that card, but I guess not. Alright, I need Intimidating Roar or I lose. Not an Intimidating Roar. Very not Intimidating. Is well, a leap's only purpose to fall. It is a leap's only purpose to fall. I guess Fae Blade Big Twirler. Blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. <sighs> I dare you. This is very much just death. Okay. Sure. I mean, I face my fate. Your turn. He just doesn't block. Yeah. Why would he? Man, this would have been such an amazing, intimidating roar. Thank you, Droplet. You're about six turns too late. Is there any chance I can possibly win? No. There's no way. No more running. Oh, it's on. I mean, do it again. Go to two. I'm just dead, right? Like, there's no way. Here's our chance. Destiny waits. Oh, this feels bad. Now who's got the upper hand? Okay, well, I'm high on hopium, but it's not gonna work. Oh my gosh, Ari's leveled. Maybe. Okay. Spooter. Ass. What are the odds he doesn't have decimate? Or a Doom Beast or a Noxian Fervor. Okay, well, it's looking like they're pretty good, actually. No, they're not. There's no way. Okay, well, we have. Oh. That is juicy. Can I get there? The world's okay, heart beats with mine. Just hope. Play Ari and we will Life hope. Am I somehow going to still get there? There's no way, right? Run if you can. I mean, 369. Yeah, he has to block. I have to pre-commit this, honestly. It's pretty much the only chance I got. I might just get him right here. Am I really going to win this game? Holy shit. There's no way. Oh my god, I won. Hilarious. Ha! Ha! Got him! Oh my god, that's hilarious. I can't believe I got that. Alright, cool. Jeez, man. That's pretty funny.
Okay, Poros. This is the one. We've been preparing for these guys. They've kind of disappeared a little bit, but we are ready for them. Elusives are always good, but Yasuo is better. Okay, no Yasuo, but we have a pretty good start, I think. We will get there. Now, am I going to get hit with a Mystic Shot? I don't know, and I really hope I don't. I could have been safe and played Constipator instead. Okay, he's playing Boom Baboon. That's good for me. Okay, cool. All right, we're rolling. We are rolling now. We're just going to play Twirler. Oh, there's my boy. Yeah, cool, dude. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Nice. Think All right. Cute. Think you're fast. Cute. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Um, okay. I'll take three. I don't care. Fine with me. Uh, I'm not going to develop anything because I don't want my Ari to just die for free. Nice. Now we hit him with the Constipator. So he's going to start getting Poros out. Stay safe. Which, you know, take it sucks, here. but I think it'll be okay. I honestly think we're going to be okay. Uh, Yeah, he still has mana for the Thang. I keep Constipator back because I need him to block the Poros. So he's going to try to play a, a, a cheeky Poro block, and I'm just going to recall my droplet manually. Plan is, got to get Yasuo leveled so that we can we can start stunning this board and his Poros will die. Death to all Poros. Okay, here it is, Iceborne Legacy. All right, bud. Is it fear that fills your mind? Whoa. Um, I actually think I let that happen. Do I let that happen? I lose my droplet, though. Do I really want to lose droplet? I don't really want to lose droplet, honestly. But I kill one of his poros. Is my droplet worth one of his poros? Can you hear your no, heartbeat? it's not. Okay. My droplet. This is my baby. I need to protect him at all costs. I don't care about Ari. Ari, I have another one. And she's only useful when she's leveled anyways. I dare you. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Okay. Two more and Yasuo gets there. And once Yasuo gets there, we are in the business. Alright, Poro ones. Hoarder, sure. Another Poro, sure. Think you're fast? Cute. Oh, okay. I wouldn't dare. Oh my gosh, he doesn't have any boosts. He doesn't have the boosts. Uh, I just take this. Honestly, it's not a big deal. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. Do this. We do this because we need to level the Yasuo. Mystic Shot? Ah, Poro Crunch. Okay. Mm, crunchy Poros. I should have just let that go through so I didn't take so much damage. Now, who's got the upper hand? I don't think that really matters as long as I can get my Yasuo level, which I'm about to do right now. Follow the wind, but watch your back. Follow the wind and watch your sack. The forest surrounds us. Yeah. And am I afraid of Poro Crunch again? No, I'm not. Well, yeah, I am, because I need to protect Ari as well. This is good. This is very good. Yasuo's about to level. That means anything I stun is just dead. Too slow. Here's our chance. Destiny waits. Okay, this is big. This is a very big deal. Okay, I need a minimum of six mana next turn, right? And I will definitely have that. So I'm going to play this out because I may need my droplet to chump block for me from this point forward. Homecoming. Oh, that's gross. That's gross. This guy's about to leave the game. This guy's about to leave the game. Yeah. So 
go like this. And we will steal Tempest you. Alright, that's two Poros dealt with. I did take four, but I have killed two Poros, so... He is very scared at this point. He can try to get excited my droplet, which would be funny because I'll just protect it and then he loses, so... See you later, Poros! Unless he has another Iceborne. If he has a second Iceborne, that would be pretty nasty. But if he has a second Iceborne, then I'm going to just buff Yasuo with the twins, and he'll still kill them. So regardless, he's two Poros dead. That's two Poros dead that's already leveled. This is just troublesome for him. Oh, is he going to freeze Yasuo? Very smart, very smart. Um, Do I need to do three here? Or do I just let that be? I mean, doing three doesn't really help. And we're going to level Ari, so I'm okay with this. All right. Now who's got the upper hand? Here's our chance. Good freeze, good freeze, buddy. My search is over. Now I hunt. But he's at seven, which means he has to block my Ari. Okay. Poor Yasuo. Just getting frozen like that. I actually play a fade twirler too. So unless he has another freeze, he's just dead, right? Like, Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. That's a second twin, so he's still dead. Try to keep up. Run if you can. Right? And then I buff. Oh, this lost its buffs? What? Is that a visual bug? I wonder if that's a visual bug. He's still dead. He needs to block with this too. He needs to block with everything, dude, and he's still dead, bro. See you later, Poros. Let's BM him a little bit because he's playing Poros. Heard you like dying. Yeah, got him! Nice. This is what I built the deck to do. Beat these fuckers and it's working. One step closer to redemption. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Stuff really means a lot to me as a new content creator. I get super excited whenever I see the YouTube notification that I have any of those things. Feels good. Helps motivate me to keep going. In the future, I'm going to be making some more unique deck ideas leading up to the seasonal tournament. When the seasonal tournament does get a little bit closer, I'll probably make sure that I am within the qualification ranks, whatever that may be. I don't know, 200, 300 LP. Whatever I need to be at, I will get at so that I can play in the seasonal and I'll make some videos on that when it comes around. That's 30 days from now, probably like 10 or so videos uh, between now and then. That being said, have a wonderful day. Peace out.